So this is this is the machine I was scratching around for the other day. And oh, one of my favourites. Oh. Oh. So while the wife is out, I can use her kitchen. So IBM model 5155 that I'm in the process of, well, <laughs> a couple of years ago I was fixing up and I got busy with other things. So let me give it a bit of a bit of a clean and um, see where I got up to. So it's a little bit cleaner. Um, I picked this up a few years ago in Sydney, so I was really lucky got it for a really good price and um, I picked it up because I was in actual Sydney at the time so I didn't have to pay God knows hundred dollars worth in shipping so um, and it was working before I got my my little hands on it um, so yeah no doubt there's lots of videos about this but Model M Model M keyboard is that Right, these are these Ashton Tates are stuck on, but I could probably take them off. Um, keyboard is detachable. Press in there and there, and you uh, pull that out. So, and then this also looks like an RJ forty five, just detaches from there as well. So, I need to give that a bit of a clean. So, I've already been at it. Um, like I said a few years ago goes back in there and we're ready to go again um, got a hard drive now let me go mobile had a hard drive and a floppy drive so I've taken a floppy drive out I was gonna put a, a GoPro in um, that's in progress um, typical very very nice keyboard need to get that a bit of a clean um let's have a look so yeah it's a it's a pc it's not an xt or anything even though it's got a hard drive yeah let's have a look at the back this is where the handle is obviously the carry handle so it does stay up and there was a a fold out cover here but one of the hinges broke so i don't um i don't know where it is at the moment somewhere so i think we've got Composite out, I think. CGA out. I don't know, is that SCSI? I'm not sure. Um, parallel out. Well, oh, that could be serial. Which way around is it? I'm not sure. I think that's, you can see here, that's the actual keyboard. I think it's where the keyboard plugs in. I think um, I have had it open. I think it might, yeah, I think. I think, I think, I think. Might need to, how do we get it open? Maybe undo, maybe undo those screws in there and then it slides back out. Yeah, because I have done some upgrades. I have upgraded the ROM. So the ROM has been upgraded to the latest version, which I think gave support for higher floppy densities as well. Uh, Amber CGA screen. Excellent for playing Ancient Outer War. Well, that's what I'm used to. So, yeah, let me see if I can get it open. Mm -hmm. So that's the type we've got. Interesting. So now all the screws are out. I think. There we go. It just comes off like that. I'll give this a bit of a clean as well. Ski. Okay, Ski Inman. June 18, 1984. Okay. I don't know what that's in reference to. 
Um, and here is the machine. Let's see. So I think that might be, is that keyboard? Yeah, okay. So the keyboard just plugs in like normal, um, round from the front. Goes down, oh yeah, goes down the side there. All right, let's, uh, well, that's a bit dodgy, Brett. So, oh, oh. <laughs> somewhere I must have a box of IBM 5155 screws. <laughs> Probably all standard. Um, okay, unit final test. 25th of June. All right, let me go around the side. So that's what the bottom looks like. Nothing, nothing exciting. Obviously, cable, keyboard cable connects through to the front there. And through to the back like that. Okay, power supply. That's where the CRT is. And let's, so uh, 25th of June. Yeah, it's not the 6th of the 25th month. Uh, 25th of June, 1984, at 10.29 in the morning. That's when it's passed. I should find out what day that was. <laughs> Where was I then? And this was in America. So, um, yeah, all right, I'm not gonna put this down one-handed because it will fall. Okay, just wiggling that free because I've already removed the screws earlier. I have in here because I was okay so that's floppy hard drive controller and what was this oh I think maybe was this something something to do with HP maybe I was fiddling around or what was that I'm not sure okay we've got RAM by the looks of it there oh I think this is a multi-function card or something RTC on it as well. Um, looks pretty good inside. You can see there, that's where I've upgraded the, the ROMs. Um, so yeah, May 1986 was the latest version. So this one, what came out? 85? Yeah, so I've upgraded the ROMs there. That worked well. And I was trying to get a GoTech to work in it. Go check and I think maybe I was going to stick in a, um, a compact flash card as well with the adapter board. That's what I was planning to do, I think. But I think I should probably check out the power supply next. Pull that apart, make sure there's nothing in there that's going to blow. Um, yeah, so that's what I've got. Um, I, th I think it's a pretty pretty cool machine um, and so it's got a hard drive so it is portable you don't have to bring your floppy disks with you um, yeah and it's got that great IBM keyboard so hopefully I can get this up and running again let's see